Anguilla bicolor, or the bicolor eel, is usually found in fresh or brackish water. Like other eels, they are distinguished by their long, worm-like bodies. The main foods for eels, who are nocturnal feeders, are small fish, insects, and crustaceans. Let's start with the dissection. Starting with the external structures, the tail tip is surrounded by a continuous dorsal, anal, and caudal fin. The mucus that covers the eel's entire body protects the eel from pathogens and its surrounding environment. When flipped around, we can see its long anal fin which assists in swimming in its anus. It has small pectoral fins to aid locomotion. Most of its internal organs will be located in the top end of its abdominal region. Time to cut it open. Nice. The eel heart consists of four chambers placed in series, a sinus venosus, a thin-walled atrium, a more muscular ventricle and an outflow tract. The large organ right under is the liver, then under that, we can find its gallbladder and its swim bladder. The function of the swim bladder is to control the eel body's ability to float while swimming. Tracing down from the esophagus, we reach its stomach and intestine. Both organs have folds to maximize food digestion and nutrients absorption. Their gills are located on the sides of their heads and are covered by a bony plate called an operculum. They draw water in through their mouths, which passes over their gills, where dissolved oxygen is picked up, and is then expelled through openings called gill slits behind the operculum. That is all for the Anguilla bicolor dissection.